Alright YouTube, what's going on? It's Hacksaw 5000 here today bringing you a brand new episode of Road to Max. Today we're on to episode number 37. Today is going to be associated around getting 99 prayer. I will definitely get it this episode, that is for sure. Leaving off from the last episode, we're 399 XP away. We got some pest control or used pest control points to get ourselves some combat levels. And I'm hoping with the new skill invention coming out later on this month that I'll be able to actually go ahead and get back into combat because I'll be able to make weapons better, being able to get better hits, and in turn basically getting combat tasks and slayer tasks done easier, which will make it more enjoyable for me. Anyway, we're focusing on prayer right now, so let's go ahead and buy some of these cleansing crystals. I want to keep calling them Seren Stones, they're pretty much that, to be honest. Hopefully, I won't have too much more of this to do, because it is very, very expensive, which is quite annoying. However, I'm not really going to get into that whole rant about how expensive prayer is. Prayer is a lot cheaper than it used to be, though, that is for sure. And it's much easier with this AFK method as well. Anyway, that's level 98. I'm going to get 99 probably straight away, to be honest, just because there's no point in really waiting. This is a very fast 99 to get. It does, as I say, cost quite a bit of money, though, which is kind of unfortunate. There's not real much benefit of me actually having 99 prayer from level 95. In a sense, I just have a wee bit of extra money from doing some of the money making, and I thought, you know what, I might as well go ahead and actually use it up. And that's what I'm really going ahead and doing. It's also good to AFK when I'm doing other stuff as well, which is sort of ideal for me right now. Anyway, I'm going to cut out me actually leveling up level 98, because I don't think you really want to see that. I think it'll take me about five hours to do, probably. just depends on how AFK I am. And then hopefully you'll see me soon getting the level. So if we fast forward two days, this is me now. Just about to get level 99. I think I'm about one stone away, which is pretty awesome. Didn't take me very long at all. I've just been busy over the past day, so couldn't like grind it out straight away. After this, I'm going to go ahead and buy two capes like I usually do. One to wear and one to just sit permanently in my bank. So as you can see, I'm just under 4k away. Getting that starting boost there is 2.5k. And then a few more. Not really at all sure what it is. I mean, you just stand still and sort of just look at the... Saren beam of light to be honest it doesn't really make much sense this to me obviously using bones on a gilded altar does because you are using that at an altar to pray and like offer something whereas this is, I suppose you're offering a stone but what are you offering it to you're not offering it to an altar it's sort of just a mesh a sort of mess in the middle to be honest but to be honest it's nice in the AFK so I can't really complain anyway there we go there is level 99 which is pretty god darn awesome last 99 I got which I'm pretty sure was crafting I sort of just went really quiet after it actually not really too much of a reaction because I've been expecting it and as again as I said there's not really much special about it the cape however is very very cool I think it's one of the smarter capes Color combination is very, very good. And I need to go and get that though, which I'm pretty sure it is in Edgeville in the monastery, which is where I now find it myself. I'm gonna speak here with brother Jared and get the two capes. Now, one thing I'm struggling here is to actually read the text. So what I'm gonna do in future episodes after this is I'm gonna actually play on a smaller screen. What I'm doing right now is basically recording my full screen and that makes reading a lot of small print very, very difficult. And it's a bit of a problem, especially people got quite annoyed with it with Quest. So I sort of shrunk my screen down uh, to a more sizable format where you can basically read all the text on my screen. I basically did that for Quest. I'm going to start doing this for Road to Max as well, just to make it much more clearer. And I'm going to try and make the series again a bit more entertaining because it has been a lot of repetitivity. And a lot of just garbage really and that's why I think I'm going to get into combat. Though I've said I'm going to get into combat before and then I never really do get into combat. However I know that invention, a good way to level up will be doing some combat or at least combats can be made much easier from invention anyway. So we'll just have to wait and see. There's going to be some form of leveling system which is going to get you XP. I can imagine it's not going to be very much though. I can imagine the majority of the XP is just going to actually come from creating stuff and like dissembling stuff but we'll just really have to wait and see looking at some of the live streams as well it looks very very exciting however you don't really want to give too much away which is very very understandable anyway so i'm just going to very quickly do the emote here the emote's quite smart as well as i said the colors the white and the sort of goldy yellow it looks really really smart so i'm going to go ahead and bank one of these now and i'm going to go ahead and just get on with my day really this is mainly actually what to get done today i uh, restart university tomorrow which is January the 12th, and then this will I'll run for 15 weeks, and then in the summer I'm actually going to be going to America, which is pretty cool. I'll talk about more of that in a future episode, 
All I know right now is I'm going to Maryland for 10 weeks and won't have access to internet in a social way. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. Um, I only really recently found out though, so I need to do a lot of planning. People are wondering what videos and all that sort of stuff going to be. I need to look ahead. I basically should be able to pre-make videos. I'm going to have a hectic few weeks. Then once everything settles back down, um, I should be able to pump out videos a few a week. I should be able to pre-make videos because after I'm done uni and before I go, I have a period as well, which can pre-make stuff. So, but as I said, I'll talk about all this in a future video. So I've actually landed up staying on most of the day doing some fishing. Now that I've sort of got prayer out the way, an AFK skill, again going to another AFK skill. Still got quite a lot to get, but I thought I'd do fishing nets just because it's relatively fast. At Barbarian with a fishing costume, major AFK makes it absolutely wonderful. XP rate per hour is not amazing, it's about 85k, but that for fishing is actually quite good. It's probably more to be honest, just it really depends on how often I click. Now this level is absolutely great, 94, I can get to 95, I can do two platforms at the waterfall fishing, however I'm not at all sure if it's even worth changing over to the waterfall fishing, leave your comments down below on that, I think I'm just going to stick with barbarian for now and uh, just keep pushing, next level will be level 95. So a bit of a random jump of ship, going over to farming now which is not really farming, again as you know I've not really been training farming, just doing this week's quest getting ahead this is me finishing off the mention of disaster this is me collecting the reward for the whole quest so there's four individual rewards for the sub quest this is me actually getting the whole reward overall gave a shit ton of xp however a lot of the it was in a lot of skills that were very high a lot of combat ones prayer magic all that sort of stuff as well it gave me a farming one though because there was a situation where i had to plant a seed in one of them and that, I guess, gives you some farming XP, which is quite nice. Now, I was that close to the level that I hadn't actually gone ahead and got it, and I got it with an XP lamp, so it's not really a farming level. It's one of these weird situations when you get an agility level doing fishing, you actually get a level not doing the activity really that you're doing. But it's another farming level, which is always a boost. And that is going to wrap the video up here. I do apologise that I've really not been playing too much RuneScape. As I said earlier on this video, I knew I was going to be busy and I've basically been working on a commercial project. I got dragged into a team and I was offered sort of a certain amount of money to help do this commercial project for this company and uh, I had a wee input doing some of the programming with it. Absolutely wonderful experience. Uh, however, that did require quite a lot of my time going to meetings, meeting with the client um, and then I was obviously dis or distributed some of the coding to do. I had to work with other people so that took quite a lot of time. Right, that's done though, hopefully get back on the two or three videos a week which is the main aim. As I said in the USA, I'll probably talk about this in a future episode actually. Um, things are moving along now with that. I've now worked out a plan of what I can do. Uh, but as I said, we'll cover that in another video. Quality is going to improve as well. The last clip I sort of did that more zoomed in like I did with the Quest. I think that just brings a better quality of image. Uh, which is what I'm really wanting from the Road to Max. I want the whole general series too. I feel it's got a bit bland recently. It's sort of like I'm uh, pumping them out just for the sake of putting out a video and I don't want it to be like that. A lot of the earlier episodes were much more um, sort of intriguing and I was, I've got an aim. I now do have an aim again with Invention. I'm going to be doing combat and the reason for this and that. Whereas it's sort of me just basically coming on AFKing all the time and getting levels. I don't want it to be like that. That's the bottom line. I just don't want it to be like that. So hopefully this week you'll see some more quests. Probably another guide of some sort as well. I'm back on top of everything now. I've completed that project that I was doing. And as far as I know for the next few months there's not going to be any others coming up. Hope you have enjoyed this short episode. Again, do apologise about that, but you'll get an extra long invention one next week or later on in the week. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that like button down below. Comment down below what is the best fishing method for me to do to 99. Stick with Barbarian or go ahead and do the waterfall. Mind, primarily I will be AFKing fishing because it primarily is an AFKing skill. And also tell me down below where you want me to go with the new skill invention. If you'd like to see more combat stuff, what do you want to see me do in RuneScape? Because I'm sort of looking for some ideas to make this series a little bit more fun, but for also me to have a bit more fun as well. Anyways, then thank you very much for watching. My name is Hightower5000 and I'm out. Adios.